There is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. He's the first person in a long time that's really offered something different, uh, that's really seems to be speaking from his heart. He gives you a sense of hope in, uh, at times when, you know, things in this country are not going that well. My father was from Kenya, from Africa. And that Barack means one who's blessed by God in Swahili. My mother was from Kansas, which is where I got my accent from. <laughs> Chicago to work on behalf of communities that needed help rebuilding after the devastation of steel plants that had closed on the far south side of Chicago. Barack was organizing the time when everything was collapsing. The south side, uh, which was so dependent on steel and auto, it was people who had had good lives and all of a sudden they unraveled. The fact that Barack chose to try and affect social change, I mean, you know, how do you understand that motivation? The pay stinks, the hours are bad. The best education I received was working with people in the community on a grassroots basis because what it taught me was that ordinary people, when they are working together, can do extraordinary things. And I think he understood that without moving into a position where you can make things happen, you can't help the little people. There was only so much that we could do on a local level, so I went back to law school. He came to law school with an understanding that he wanted to learn something and take it back to the community in uh, Chicago on the South Side and apply those skills to make a difference in people's lives. He was all around the most amazing student that I can remember having in 37 years and thousands of students. It was inspiring absolutely inspiring to see someone as brilliant as Barack Obama, as successful, someone who could have written this ticket on Wall Street, take all of the talent and all of the learning and decide to devote it to the community and to making people's lives better. And I came back, ran a voter registration project, Project Vote. We registered 150,000 new voters. I started a civil rights practice, working on voting rights cases. I started teaching at the University of Chicago teaching constitutional law. We have here someone who understands and loves the Constitution of the United States, understands it deeply. The biggest blessing of my life is my family. I've got a wonderful wife, Michelle. We've been blessed with two beautiful daughters. We're active in our church, Trinity United Church of Christ. My family life, I think, is, is most important to me, and it's the main thing I do when I'm not working uh, in my political life. Our girls, uh, Malia and Sasha, are the, the light of our lives. Um, you know, they keep, us, they keep us grounded and whole, and what we are reminded of every day when we see them is that every child should be able to enjoy what they enjoy, that freedom of just you know, having so much opportunity. And too many children in our country don't have that. And it's not enough that our girls do. I just want to stand in strong support of this bill and working for a number of organizations uh, throughout the state that are trying to deal with this homelessness issue. I think this is an example. Senator Obama worked on some of the deepest issues we had in Springfield, ethics reform, and he was successful in a bipartisan way in passing that, the death penalty reform, um, and bills dealing with racial profiling. I don't think Barack ever forgot why he was sent to the Illinois Senate. You're unemployed, you've got no health insurance, your kid is in a lousy school, uh, you're a victim of crime. That's day-to-day -day stuff. That's what people live on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what Barack kept his eye on. Pieces of legislation that he carried, he believed in. He was not carrying it for a group. He was not carrying it for a lobbyist. He believed in what he was carrying. Republican legislators uh, respected Senator Obama. If Senator Obama were to go on and be the nation's chief executive, those skills, negotiation skills, and an ability to understand both sides, hold to your principles, but be practical in what you can get in a real world is something that I think would serve him and the country very well. I 
I stand here today to answer that call and affirm that I will be a candidate for the United States Senate in 2004. I took a lot of courage for Barack Obama to come out against this war when he did. He was a candidate for the United States Senate. The majority of the American people thought the war was a good idea at the time. He saw the problems there and he spoke out at a time when it wasn't popular. It took a lot of guts for him to do that. Barack Obama cruising all night to the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senate. This victory also amazing because uh, Barack Obama was outspent by a margin of six to one. 16 months later, we are here, and Democrats from all across Illinois, suburb, city, downstate, upstate, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, have declared, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states, red states for Republicans, blue states for Democrats, but I've got news for them too. We worship an awesome God in the blue states, and we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We coach Little League in the blue states, and yes, we've got some gay friends in the red states. There are patriots who oppose the war in Iraq, and their patriots who supported the war in Iraq. We are one people, all of us pledging allegiance to the Stars and Stripes, all of us defending the United States of America.